Welcome to Croxton Family Racing. I'm your host, Adam Croxton, and with me, once again, is Chip Monkington. Chip? It's great to be back, Adam, for the League of Champions Race Tournament 2 Demolition Derby. Top 12 seeds will compete. Let's see where they seated in blue. Out of the Appalachia Division, this will be our first four matches for the day. Let's see who moves into the inner brackets. I just want to watch them wreck. Our first matchup is the clear winner, Supernat, versus the Blue Lamborghini Countach for 7-9 split. They race, and our very first one makes contact. Lamborghini Countach knocks off the Supernat straight off the track. Countach takes an early 9-0 lead, and that is about as perfect as it gets. Second race, and they just miss each other. Let's look at that again, slow-mo. Well, the Supernat does get an extra point for crossing the center one more time than the Countach did, but the Countach is already so far ahead that he's going to take this one. Final score is 15-7. Next up is going to be the Grey 2000. 2018 Bentley Continental GT3 for 7-9 split versus the Oddballs Racing Stalker. They have a narrow miss in their first run of the track. Some of these cars are banking on making contact. They're not going to get points for crossing over the center as many times. Well, if you're banking on hitting somebody, then you need to hit somebody. This is a demolition derby after all. Right, you are, Chip. Well, that extra pass to the center will give the Continental an early lead. He's up 7-6 to six over the Racing Stalker. They switch lanes, and the Continental has a fast run, avoiding getting hit by the Stalker. That stalker should have stalked his prey more carefully. Well, it turns out he's just a stalker and not a stalker. Or he might have had some better luck. Regardless, his several extra passes through the middle are going to have him secure the win on this one. Final score turns out to be 15 to 12. The Continental will be moving on and the racing stalker is out. Up now, the 71 Dodge Charger against the Lexus SC400 Grand Tour. And what a collision. One upside down and one leaning off the track. The result of that collision will give him a close point distribution. It is 4 to 5. The Charger's down by 1. They switch lanes and they collide again. The Charger gets knocked completely off the track. Knocked off the track and knocked out of the tournament. The Lexus takes the win over the Charger, 14 to 4. Up now, the McDonald's 9 and 9 against the Perp Kissed. Porsche and they narrowly miss each other the first pass through. McDonald's 909 sets up a block in the middle, blocking the Porsche from getting three points. Another interesting strategy, passing through the first time and then setting up that block. Right you are, Chip. We've seen several different strategies on display here today. We'll have to see which one is the winning combination. McDonald's 909 leads the Porsche 10 to 9. They switch lanes. Lanes switched and they meet in the middle. Big impact as the Porsche sends the 909 sailing. And the wreck and roll strategy wins the day. Porsche takes this one 13 to 10 over the 909. With the first four races complete, we're looking at the Atlantic Division's lineup. All the cars that made the cut will be earning points for themselves as well as their team. I guess that means the same teams can go up against each other as we saw in the last set of races. Absolutely, Chip. First matchup for this division is the Yellow Eruption against the Yellow Jeep CJ7. It's great to see some of the cars that didn't do well in the first tournament have a good seating here. Here. I wholeheartedly agree with you. And the yellow Jeep sets up a block in the middle, but the yellow eruption says I'm not having it, pushes straight through him. They will both end up in the center. Blocking backfire. Maybe you should just try to knock him off the track. Perhaps, Chip. Yellow eruption takes a one-point lead, 11 to 10 over the Jeep. They switch lanes, and contact is made this time. Yellow eruption flips himself around and still lands on the track, saving himself. Save his right as he takes a one-point victory over the Jeep. Up next, the fire starters have two cars. CC4 Continental against the Circle Tracker. They fail to make contact, and the Circle Tracker will take one point advantage over the Continental. Failing to make contact is how you fail in this one. They need to start hitting each other. No sure way to win other than knocking the other guy off. Right you are. The Circle Tracker will be up 7-6 to six over the Continental as they switch lanes. They speed down the track, and the Continental knocks the Circle Tracker off. Someone was listening out there. Definitely a more effective strategy. He went from down by one to up by five, finishing 12 to seven over the Circle Tracker. Up now we have the Jeep Cherokee against the intercooled F3 Shadow Jet. And they take off down their perspective lanes, and narrowly miss one another. They both come to rest with their front tires in the center, earning them one point there. But I believe the Shadow Jet is up by one, having passed the center one more time. Absolutely, you only need one set of tires to enter the center count as cross. The Shadow Jet's up 9-8 to eight over the Cherokee as they switch lanes. Any predictions for these races? No way, I didn't want my crystal ball to spoil the surprise. Well, speaking of surprise, the Shadow Jet blocks the center, causes the Cherokee to jump off the track slightly, securing the win for him. The Shadow Jet defeats the Cherokee, 19-7. Our last matchup today is the Star Fox R-Wing eruption against the Red Volkswagen Golf GTI. And first run through, the Star Fox knocks the GTI right off the track. That's how winning's done. That GTI looked wrecked already, so 
No damage done. Star Fox takes the lead, nine to nothing. They switch lanes. GTI is gonna have to take the Star Fox out, and he fails to do so. They narrowly miss one another going through the center. They both cross twice, and neither one of them stays in the center. So this will be a tie in this race, so the Star Fox will take it overall. I still stand by it. Knock him off or fail. Star Fox will take this one. Final score is 16 to 7. Taking a look over at our brackets. We'll see the blue Lamborghini Countach move on to face the 70 Plymouth AAR Cuda, and the Continental will move on to face Head Gasket. The Lexus moves on to face the Dodge Charger stock car, and the Purple Kiss Porsche will face the Datsun Wagon. The Yellow Air Eruption moves on to face the Red Air Eruption, and the 64 Continental moves on to face the Tricar X8. The Shadow Jet will move on to face a Jeep, and the Star Fox Eruption will move on to face the F1 race car. Looking at the top 30 in individual standings, we see the Shadow Jet up top, number one. All the seating points have been included, so some of those cars that haven't run yet still have points. And the outer brackets continue. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and like our videos. Leave your comments and share with your friends. I'm Chip Monkington. And I'm Adam Croxton for Croxton Family Racing. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. Be free.